Hello, hello. Welcome to the New York City Wrestling Series. This is July 2023. Um, this is our pre-show matchup with Original Center and Hell's Bouncer. Just picking up a win over Molokai Milk and Penfold. Uh, Perdidin. Will I say his name correctly? We'll never know. Um, right away, I do look at seeing we have an attendance of 2,800, which is a record for our company. Um, growth is good. And this is just a matchup to get everybody listed, you know, a match. So we start off the show, that was a pre-show. We start off the show with Austin Smooth saying he was cheated. Xavier Reckless wasn't a correct opponent. He shouldn't have had to face Xavier Reckless. Jack Bruce just doesn't want to hear it, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of blowing him off as a way to get over Austin Smooth was cheated and he's upset with Jack Bruce now. We then go into a debut of Kid Fantastic, debuting and defeating Sergeant Bubba Lee uh, West. Kid Fantastic is a really, really good high flyer. Um, just doesn't have the psychology and a lot of the consistency to be like a big star. So hopefully, he's only 26, so hopefully we can find that with him. Uh, he is also our second lightweight. So our lightweight spots on the roster is with Kid Fantastic and Zippy Deverell, Deverell, who De Deverell? I don't know. Well, one, I'm changing his last name because I hate that last name. Uh, but yeah, this is Kid Fantastic, and he is somebody that would be talked into going to middleweight if we can. We then go to Zippy, kind of bragging about how great him and Justice are. Justice is standing behind him. Zippy's in front, just kind of Enzo and Cast style. Yeah. Zippy's talking about how great he is with Justice behind him, talking about how great Justice is as well. Um, we then go into Father Cobra, letting Hawkeye Calhoun, you know what, if you want a rematch versus me, there's a stipulation. If you lose, you have to join my family, the Re Repentance family of Original Sinner, Hell's Bouncer, and Father Cobra. This is a means to put across that stakes are involved. Um, Hawkeye Calhoun, his biggest victory to date was over Sadamia when he had his mask on the line. So I'm hoping to see um, how he answers that challenge. It's like an accepted challenge, but how he answers the call in that match next month. We then go into the Watchdogs defending their tag titles versus the Militia, making defense number two. Uh, Deaver Arnold is doing an absolute great job of bringing Egon up to his level and even elevating Silencer and Desert Storm. Um, pretty solid match all in all. No real storyline really there. Even though there was like the Watchdog storyline. We then go into James Diaz defeating Howlin' Mad Mort. Um, Howlin' Mad Mort was saved by uh, Dominic DeGraff, Momentum, being tanked. And we found that, okay, we're going to keep Howlin' Mad Mort. And James Diaz picks up a win over him. Then we go into James Diaz kind of mocks, you know, Charlie California Cool Corner 4C, um, laid back personality. We're going to kind of use Charlie as a RVD style laid back, whoa brother, kind of take it easy kind of guy. And Honest Frank was interviewing them both as, you know, these are his scouting prospects, I'd say, of, you know, in game. Well, in storyline. We then go to Kip Keenan confronting Duke Hazard. Duke Hazard and Brutus Milano cheap shotted Kip Keenan last month, so we're then just getting across that, okay, you want to cheap shot me? Well, I'm going to you know, go ahead and beat up you and your boy next month or whatever. So we're just getting across that you know, Kip Keenan is a no-nonsense uh, fan favorite baby face, and he just has this angle here at Duke Hazard. We then go into Mass Stranger defeating Primetime Jack Pride with Mass Stranger picking up another win, this time over Primetime Jack Pride, um, and a really solid match on the card. We then go to Big Angle with LA Star number one confronting LA Star number two about you know escaping and leaving him by himself, and we see LA Star number two cheap shot LA Star numero uno. So the LA Stars have officially split. They are going to go their separate ways, or they're going to be for a while. And we're going to see, obviously, the names are going to be changing. Um, 
and we'll see how the mask works out. Maybe someone loses their mask, maybe someone does not. We then go into the mask mauler, defeating Buzz Reed with a pile driver. This is just to bring the fans back after, you know, I don't want to say the big angle, but we had, you know, Mask Stranger and Primetime Jack Pride, really great match, steal the show, uh, match aim. Then I was hoping LA Star angle was going to be a little bit hot. Before our main event, we had Mass Mauler defeat Buzz Reed, because our main event has Mutant defeating Xavier Reckless, winning the New York City Wrestling Empire title. Xavier Reckless does not even get to defend the title once, one and done. He wins the title, says, you know what, I'm going to be able to take Mutant on, I'm going to be able to put the beast down, and he failed. He also sustained a broken nose, and with that, it is making, obviously, Xavier a transitional champion, and the Tina Turner man himself, Mutant, the king of the wasteland, is officially king of New York City Wrestling, and overall, this ma this show was a step back from where we've been in the past couple shows. We've been on a string of about 60, 60, 60, 68, 66, 62, uh, but I'm pretty happy with this. Because we debut, you know, Kid Fantastic, we get, you know, some new people, time to talk and shine with Kip Keenan, James Diaz, Zippy. Uh, we finally had something with the LA Stars where they have a direction, even though it's splitting up, it's a direction nonetheless. And I'm very just happy with it. So we're going to shout out Deaver Arnold here. We are also going to shout out Mutant and Xavier Reckless. Now, why I'm not doing Mass Stranger, because I've just, you know, honestly done that enough with him. Do, do, do. Who's I going to say? Mutant and Xavier. There we go. Goldfish memory. What can I say? So with that said, there is a couple things in the game world that I do want to go over. Aaron Andrews, his contract is up in December of 2023. Um, he has like a four-year deal at the start of the game. And he broke his leg last month. And he is out until the week before his contract expires. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets renewed, if he gets renewed, or if somebody signs him. Does TCW use him at all? And like kind of see how that gets played out. Tommy Cornell, if you remember last show, I showed you he was a free agent. He was signed by USPW, of course. Um, or no, not USPW. It was SWF. I think it was SW, yeah, it was SWF, I'm sorry, I don't know, what, just USPW signing everybody away, I probably just put that out of habit, uh, but Tommy Cornell was signed by SWF, but talking about USPW, the TCW champion, Killer Shark, was signed by USPW, um, and then, let's see here, we got new goals, Justice Jolson doesn't get it, whatever, pretty good, um, I gotta, let me double check Tommy Cornell, because now I'm paranoid, that why would USPW sign him if he like uh, yeah it was SWF and yeah Tommy Cornell Stan was going away <laughs> he's obviously um, going through which all his consistency is going lower but he's still 44 he's still an effective use for somebody so that said when it comes to our company let's take a look here so we are now going up a popularity point for every show um, so we are now 10 away from being medium. So let's say 10, which you know, going to be August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So May of next year of 2024 is looking like when we make the jump to medium. Uh, now with that, there's a couple things. Maybe I cap our company size at small to just you know get money and let us grow that way um but i'm not sure also maybe i just go to medium sign a bunch of lower card guys to start doing house shows to develop money that way you know i can then sign the mutants lost and smooth to make sure they don't get signed away uh financially we finally over million dollars we went from basically at two hundred thousand in june of 2022 to now july of 2023 to have a million dollars all thanks to one man one man only jack roos um i'm sorry one second um if you and I'll, I'll talk about something here in a minute when it comes to stream quality so let's take a look over everything let's see austin smooth popularity wasn't hurt from losing the title 
Okay, nothing really there. Diva Arnold just still picking up momentum, still picking up popularity. That's good. Desert Swarm, Egon, but 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 uh, no real news there. No real news there. James Diaz is getting there. Uh, 19 now. Again, no hurry because he's still developing. Justice, not in a hurry, but I want to get him and Zippy's tag team over to give ourselves something with them to do. Uh, with Kid Fantastic, he is a flabby lightweight. I am going to talk him out of uh, being flabby and six months from now. So watch out for that. Kip Keenan, popularity. Ooh, 30? Okay, I didn't realize. I guess him going over Brutus is a pretty big win. But fine, Kip Keenan, start watching for him to start you know, rising up to the card pretty fast. With you know the LA Stars. You know, I'm thinking of going to, like, George Trapezi, like his actual name, for LA Star number one. LA Star number two, I kind of want to keep that LA Star gimmick, but also, there's going to be Mask versus Mask match down the line here, and I'm not sure which one is going to be willing to lose their mask, if either. Mask Stranger, just solid hand throughout. Hopefully we never lose them. Mutant, okay, popularity. Let's just do a quick look at his gains from being our champion. And again, I think 52, took us forever to realize, is like the gap of uh, where we will be with small size of popularity. So I guess right now we should be trying to get everybody we can to that mark and then go from there. Now with him, he's not he's kind of maxing out for our company size right now. And the streak is at... New York City Wrestling, 18 and 0. So it took him 18 victories, a year and a half, to finally uh, become champion. And he just doesn't want to turn face. So we're going to keep him heel for another couple more months and see how his title reign is going to go. Original Center, Penfold, uh, yeah, whatever his name is, Primetime. Ryan McManus. I wish I can bring Riley's stats up everywhere to that like 40s across the world, like Dawson Smooth and Mutants of the World. But you know, I'll deal with that later. I didn't have the woman on the show. I didn't have Saeed Ali in the show. I didn't have uh, Ryan McManus on the show. Um, we don't have to have everybody on the show all the time. Um, again, not everybody needs to be an angle. I'm saying this out loud to remind myself, just so I can avoid. Yeah, not burnout. We signed uh, Sanaz Shah. She quit QAW. Um, pretty decent hand. Has some popularity, so obviously it makes sense to sign her and bring her in because her woman roster isn't the best. Um, the Masked Mauler pick, picked up pretty decent win. His popularity is pretty decent. And, you know, again, it doesn't have to be him turning heel. Um, on Mass Stranger, it doesn't have to be a Mass Stranger saying babyface forever. He just honestly has to say Mass forever, so, you know, got to understand that. Uh, Xavier Reckless. Let's check his popularity, because it looks like he took a pretty decent hit. And then we'll probably just send us on our way after that. So, let's see. Actually, not even that bad. No, I mean, not really. So within our company, let's just go here, Tri-State, and let's do anyone over 40 that's an active wrestler. So we have Austin Smooth, former champion, Diva Arnold, tag champion, Hawkeye Calhoun, OG, Mass Stranger, former champion, OG, Mutant, 18-0, Original Sinner, Blacklist Exemption, uh, Super Protected, former tag champion, Riley McManus, uh, King of New York winner, former champion, not overly protected, oh, I'm just realizing was his thing, this pro mode is really throwing me off, so I'm still adjusting that, decent, yeah, yeah, this actually, yeah, this wasn't shown before, I'm remembering now, um, but as you can see, pretty decent across the board, but former champion, Saeed Ali was ready made, popular. Say, I'd say it's Xavier Reckless, about the same. Um, and if you look here, 37, 37, 36, 24, 28, 34, 28, 28, 29. None of these guys, with the exception of Saeed Ali, 
have been a champion in a major company or not quote unquote major company or company that would be bigger than us uh, and Saeed Ali is a role exception to that role because 4C is closed so are they better than us if they're closed probably not and good balance now with us we're not going to be doing weekly TV for another probably two years in game I, I think I'm not sure but we're gaining popularity fast and once we get medium that is a financial uh, risk that we're going to take and hopefully it pays off Kid Fantastic joins the next big things list uh, dumping not Egon I don't remember who's there um, now when it comes to the stream quality I'm so sorry I used to record on what's called BSR screen recorder and it was only doing like 480 so I recently switched to OBS well this is the first one on OBS so I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think of the quality it looks to be better from my experiment and testing but I don't know I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys are thinking about it that said I appreciate you for watching and I will talk to you next time